You might have recalled me last week saying that for Taylor Town, my Star Wars fired Lego City, I would be working on the rest of Tatooine Tower so that it's ready to show you in this video. But just like every other Star Wars project announced in the last five years, I haven't quite finished it. And unlike my uni assignments, rather than rushing it late last night, I thought I'd finish off the final floor in this video so you get a little behind the scenes look at how it is I have modified each level. And it was actually pretty easy, not to take away from the hours of work that I put into this project. And I'm just talking about updating the tower here, let alone redesigning the whole city. But you can see I pulled the base off first, that was at the start of the laps. I started moving the interior because this was the easiest floor by far. I already knew where the base had to line up to the floor below it and I knew where it had to end up with the floor on top. And I'm actually building this four shallower at the top just to allow for some stairs to get up the side like some classic Tatooine architecture especially that we see in Phantom Menace with a slightly larger Star Wars budget than Tatooine in the original trilogy or Mos Eisley because they decided to switch up locations rather than finding the original place which I'm happy now that they did do but back to the Lego builds I'm still trying to make the front wall removable which was really really hard and initially I had kind of scrapped the idea when I was going about it but then I realized because I'm adding stairs to the front I needed to have a way to pull off the stairs because the windows just weren't going to be large enough so you see me remodeling it all the time but one thing I am doing is taking a whole chunk of the wall and building it into the new building I'm trying to use what I've already spent time putting together because rather than starting from scratch and spending hours breaking it down I think this whole floor took me about 30-40 minutes to do and obviously it's sped up to a minute or two for the sake of this video but I wanted it to be as easy as I could so I could get on to tomorrow's video after this one but in all seriousness this is a day long project so I'm mixing up different brick techniques and trying to keep it looking like the other floors whilst also keeping its own uniqueness such as the giant stairs at the front which we will take a look at in a minute but the rest of the building is pretty self-explanatory I did forget to make room for the arch at the back there which you would have seen me just fix quickly and I have slightly reduced the windows this Watto wears style floor was very window heavy and I have heavily reduced that in the new building but that's because we're using about half the size to get all the detail across and now that floor three is done, we can have a look at the entire tower. And I'll try to put a comparison up on the left hand side. I don't know how many good shots I've got of the other tower, but this is so, so much different to the other. Last week, we updated the cantina at the bottom, so I'll leave that for last week. But nearly all of these floors have removable walls to some extent. We do have a curtain on the second floor because a removable wall wasn't the easiest thing to implement but you see the bottom does just pop off to reveal the cantina we have the curtain which you can fold up to get a sneak peek on the inside for the floor I've just built you probably noticed that the stairs were removable and we have this pit droid just chilling there's another one in the back corner just on top of the gonks and I will add some more minifigures as well but the top floor is something special. And you can see, much like the other floors, we have some windows and you get a little sneak peek. Members will have already seen what is inside of this, but you can pop off the wall with the roof. It didn't make sense to have the roof just sitting on top separately to reveal the interior of Jubba's palace, Boba's palace, Porky Pig's palace. It's a bit of a mashup. We've got some detailing behind the throne and the throne itself does still slide forward to cover the grill elements at the front of the seat so it can be slid forward and back to reveal these little grates at the floor and I've added in a table and chairs which is identical to the ones in the cantina just to tie up this whole tower together but where I want your focus to be is on the back wall here I've made it modular so I can pop this out and show you separately because you can see I've printed some designs of carbonite 
bricks with different minifigures on. So we've got Stormtrooper, we have Salacious B. Crumb, we have Jar Jar, and a B1 Battle Droid. But that is not all, because this is an interactive wall. So if we slide Jar Jar, it reveals a B2. And we've also got an Ahsoka one behind Salacious B. Crumb. And then finally, a Deadpool one to top it off. And when this is pulled out, you can slide them all out to get a view of all seven of them. I'll try to get it without any glare. But I think that is really, really cool. And just to show you how easy it is to then slide them back in. There's definitely some concern for the stickers perhaps peeling off over time, but not a huge one that I'm too fussed about. But this carbonite wall just clips in on two studs at the top of the palace and is a really good addition to not only this modular, but also the tower and the entire city. So now let's clip these back on you might have seen there's one plate that's come up with it and get this back in the city and now it's back in the city you can see it looks a lot better than the just tower of brick that it once was and I'm looking to the other ones now Naboo and Coruscant to see if we can do something similar with the depth of the modular I definitely think it works really well bringing out the cantina to have the queue at the bottom and again when the end screen pops up I'll leave last week's video if you haven't seen it, if you want to know more about the interiors of the other two floors in the middle here, they're very similar to how I had them originally. There will be another city overview once I finish it all up. We still need to work on the Lego store, which is this fourth tower here, and add a few bricks into the museum. The Friends Tower is completely done, and again, that video is up. They all have removable walls as well, and that's something we'll be bringing across to the Lego model, I think. We do have the removable wall there and most of Naboo is open. So again, unless I revisit it and redesign the complete towers, I think I'm going to be keeping them as they are. But I think it just works so much better being able to pop off the wall, take a look on the inside. And as soon as we've got this city lit up, I know I keep mentioning lights. We will one day have lights for this Lego city, for Taylor Town. And once this is lit up, that would just be so, so cool. What would be really cool is if we could have it so that it's activated by the walls being removed. I guess that would mean we'd have to have it constantly plugged in, but that's something for future me to worry about. I'd just like to take the last few seconds of this video to say a massive thank you for all the support on the last video. I know it's not exactly exploded with views, but in the first 24 hours of it being up, it was actually a one of 10 video, which if you aren't aware, YouTube has a few different stats that it measures a video on and it compares them with the nine videos before it. And this city is purely a passion project. I cannot reinstate that enough. I do it because I just really like the idea of having Star Wars and Lego cities just mashed together and I'm really enjoying where the towers are going. So to have one of the videos be a one out of 10, that is absolutely amazing. And again, I cannot thank you enough. Massive thank you to all of you that are watching this series. There's a playlist up with nearly 40 odd episodes because this city has gone through some massive changes over the course of the last few months, possibly even coming up to a year. In fact, I think it's just over a year. So thank you to everyone who continues to support. I am currently working on getting some of your sig figs into the city. I mentioned it ages ago, and now that we're finishing up on the Tatooine Tower and renovating a few things, I'd like to do a bit with the Lego store before the year ends and then move on to a few other projects, especially that Minecraft world that hasn't been touched for months and you can't even see it in the camera. But we will be working on that a little bit for Harry Potter towards Christmas as well. But I am working on getting some of you represented in the city again in that Sig Fig hotel that I mentioned a few episodes back. But thank you all for the support and I hope you enjoyed. If you did, check out the other two videos on screen now and may the bricks be with you always.